not the politics watch. This is Sophie. Now, as you are aware, there are 33 members of the Klansman gang, or at least one faction of it, currently on trial. As far as I'm concerned, there should be 34. Like I tell you who should be the 34th person to go up on trial. A witness in the court revealed that, and this witness is a member of the security forces, in the court revealed that right, there were five firearms where they noticed were used in multiple murders right, by the gang. After they named the firearms, then, that's when we realized that we need a 34th person to go up on trial. Now, I can tell you the name of the weapons and then tell you why that person needs to go up on trial. First weapon, name was Ursula, it's a 45. The next weapon, code name, and Janet. Next weapon code name, Van Quisha. The next weapon code name, Geraldo. The last one, Van Z. As far as I am concerned, whoever came up with these names should be immediately placed on trial. Right. No, it's someone like are the police them come up with this name. This has to be somebody that the JCF. I would be very surprised. If Klansman sit down and come up with them names. Yeah. Whoever in the JCF came up with these names yeah, in the interest of public safety need to be added to this trial. This man is trying to take over my unicorn business. This man is a threat right, to my profits. Who in the right mind slow? Look on fire gun and decide to come up with code names like Ursula. When you really name the man named Matic Ursula, <laughs> you have to take bad things in that joke. JCF, because as I said, I'd be really surprised. Man, for me, a code name, when you say I'm a police have come to this. I talk to the JCF, when you really call the man named Gun Van Quisha. See, talk, when you really call the notorious Klansman Gun name. Man. The monstrous clansman gang on the real look on the man and gun and call him Anjanet Anjanet Van Quisha. What is that? I've never heard the well Gerald, I've heard the name Gerald already. But Van Z put that man on trial. Put that woman on trial. Whoever came up with these names, right? Put them side of Mumma and black man. We need this person off the streets right now. A danger to society and a danger to my unicorn business. The man you look on Clansman 45, I come up with the code name Ursula. Ursula? Normally, code names are cool, you know? you know. Code names are something like Eagle One, right? You know, you know Iron, Iron Donkey or something like so. The man you look on the gun and say, No, we're going to call this Van Quisha. Only in Jamaica. Like what kind of? I'm trying. Maybe maybe it means something else. Maybe there's like a deeper meaning also. For example, Ursula. Let me try to use the the native alphabet and see if it makes sense to Ursula. So the U would have be uniform. R is Romeo. S is Sierra. U is uniform. L is Lima. And A is what are you again? Alpha. That's still a make sense. Make it make sense to this. I don't know. But I know that person needs to be charged ASAP. Yeah. Now, fun and joke aside, while I was reading the article on Loop, I noticed something that I really shit made. The old charging the witness, as in C4, come up again. I see that say, that's the prosecutor them. Just have a couple more things to do. Right. But three more officers are gonna testify. One of the officers, right, who is described as a senior member of the JCF. Right. That officer is to provide a reason to the court why the farmer gangster turned state witness 
who alleged that he was a second in command of the gang, was not charged in relation to the criminal acts he allegedly committed while serving as a member of the gang. I'm missing full and joke aside with the, with the, with the name then. I'm talk about this. So a policeman, a senior police officer, explained in a court why C4 was in charge. He goes on to state, Trial Judge Chief Justice Brian Sykes had raised questions last year about whether investigations were ongoing in order to charge the former gangster. I don't know anymore. Why is this still a thing? You're telling me a senior member of the JCF? You're telling me a big rank in the JCF after going to court? Right? Take time off from doing whatever them do. Go in a court, go explain why C4 wasn't charged. You don't need a senior police for that. You can go in any high school and get a 7th grader and ask them. And let me tell you, you need police to explain why the star witness wasn't charged. The same witness who collected the recordings you're using. The same witness who the police themselves admit say were on the operations with them carry out against the clansman. Shut it off, fly past the same witness. You're asking, we need a senior police officer to go explain why that witness wasn't charged. Welcome to Jamrock. Harry man. No problem, man. I don't know why this is a thing. I don't know why this is a thing why are we even still here we're seriously asking how comes this brother and i get charged are we really asking why a star witness was not charged is this is this what i'm supposed to i don't know i don't know it, it, it this is strange to me this is very strange to me right i don't know what, 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 what's supposed to come out of this i don't know what to make of this right i kind of feel like at some point right maybe Somebody with more the legal side, like the DPP and then people would have just, like just, I don't know what kind of pause they have once the court, once, once the, the trial starts, but I kind of feel like this has been squashed a long time ago. Right. So even after all of this, a big wig, a big ranking police officer, because I guess they're no business board with the, the, because other police officers explained already. Other police officers, I think it was from CETA, explained clearly why they didn't charge C4. But I guess that's not enough. They need a bigger rank to explain. That doesn't make any sense to me. I know, obviously I'm no court trial historian, but for me this is unprecedented. I can't remember seeing anything like this ever. Local or foreign. I've never seen right in a court. Right, the question is, how come you're not charged the witness? I, I, I'm confused. This is a thing. We like, we, in, in Jamaica's historic anti-gang trial, right, we're in a position where we have to break it down. Right, as to why. The very witness that the case, right, that, that gathered the evidence for the case is relying on, why you never charge him? This is not astrophysics. Right. We're, not we're not talking about quantum physics. You don't have to be a neurosurgeon. This is straightforward. You don't even need to go to school to answer that question. You don't need to be a graduate of the university at the walk in this. You don't, you, don't, you don't have to graduate from one of those you know super woke colleges in America. It, this is straightforward. Why would you charge the person who come to you, right, bring evidence, come give, go on operations, carry you in a bad man place, go make your sister, them have gone for real, right, introduce you as uncle, met man, in a clansman, pass gun, in a car, make you see everything, see tax saw everything. This was done because of C4. Now we're asking why we're not charge that man. This is confusing to me. That scratch my head, but may I watch, may we see how the trial end? May we see how this play out? Because this, I don't know. 
So, I don't know if I just procedure or something written in the law will say you have to ask these questions. I'm not sure. I know legal expert. But if somebody who live abroad are taking this trial, they must have scratched them and said these Jamaicans are strange people. Why is that even a thing? Why are they even asking that? That's pretty straightforward. Why they didn't charge C4? If C4 did go in there and say, you know, some did this, some did that, right? And we used to do this. And they say, all right, gotcha. Slap on some handcuff. There would be no trial. Now, let me just keep it cool to the trial. I don't want to see how this play out. Anyway, HM squad, be open the cell. Yeah, yeah, you don't know. Go live. Ultra squad, stay circling. Bless.